Okay, we're going to find the dimensions of a right circular cylinder of maximum volume that's inscribed in a sphere with a radius 25. Okay, so I've got, our, I've got a little picture here uh, to sort of describe the situation that's going on. Um, I know this is only a circle, but imagine it's a sphere. Here's the right circular cylinder inside. And I've got this little triangle that I've pulled out over here. Um, this side would be the height, the whole thing here would be the height of the right circular cylinder. Okay, so I'm going to do um, height divided by 2 right here. This is the radius of the right circle of the cylinder, not of the sphere. Okay, so we'll call that R. This distance to, to um, close up the triangle here, well, it's also the distance from the edge to the center of the sphere. So we know that that's 25. Okay, so we can set up some uh, relating equations here. First one would be uh, using this triangle that we have here which is r squared plus h over 2 squared equals 25 squared. Okay, our other relating equation would be um, of the volume of a right circuit cylinder which is you know what the question is asking us. Uh, that formula v equals pi r squared h. Okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to solve for one or the other of the variables because when we take the derivative of this, we would like this to only have um, one variable over here. Instead of the r and the h, we want to get rid of one um, or the other. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to solve this equation for r. So we get r squared equals 25 squared minus h over 2 squared. Okay, and then I can take, um, I can, uh, take the volume here formula and I can plug in right there in place of r squared because that's what this is. Okay, So I would get v is equal to pi. Um, then I'll plug in here I get 25 squared minus h over 2 squared h. Okay, Clean that up a little bit. I'll get volume is equal to pi times 25 squared h minus h cubed over 4. Okay, so I've got this in terms of, of just h instead of h and r now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that derivative, dv, um, dvd, we'll just say uh, dv dx. Okay, so um, we take this derivative and um, that's going to be pi, it's constant on the outside, uh, 25 squared, the h goes away, uh, minus 3h squared over 4. Okay. Uh, to find the critical numbers, uh, we set this derivative equal to 0. Okay. Um, so we solve that, this thing down, we get 625 pi minus 3h squared over 4 pi that will give us 3h squared over 4 equals 625 the pi's will cancel out when you move this over um, so we'll get we solve that over and we get h is approximately equal to 28.87 okay all right we can also solve for uh, the r now Okay, so we, we have this r squared formula up here, but now we have h as well. So r squared um, equals 25 squared minus, um, that'll be 28.87 um, squared over 4. Okay, when we solve that for r, we'll get r is 20.41. Put that in your calculator and solve it. Okay, so that's your minimum or uh, maximum h value of the right circular cylinder, ma maximum r value radius of the right circular cylinder. And if you wanted to go ahead and find the maximum volume of the right circular cylinder using pi r squared h, you would plug in the r and the h and if you do that you'll get volume is equal to
37,790.74 cubic centimeters.